One morning, SMNG was reviewing something that he had saw last night. Until... What in the hell was that? Wait, who the hell are you? I am SMNH, the Super Mario NASCAR hater. Way to introduce yourself. Uh, can you please leave now? I'm in the middle of doing something. No. Okay, okay. What do you want, then? If you don't do as I say, this whole universe is over. What? You must watch every Super Mario TV show and movie. No. I can't do this again. Hey, come back! Damn it! SMNG didn't want to do this again. He had been through this before, and he knew what he had to do. But he wasn't going to do this one alone. I'm going to go ahead and call them. Oh boy. Sometime later, SMNG decided to go see Mario. Hello, Mario. No, we talked about this. Remember? Somehow I have another twin and he's evil again, and um, I, if you don't help me, the universe is in vain. What do you say? Mm. Good enough, let's go. We're looking for somebody who I think can help us. Now where is he at? There he is. Hello, SMMP. SMMG? Go away, you won, and now I'm stuck here. SMMP, apparently we have another twin, and he's even more evil than you. Can't believe I'm about to say this, but SMMP, we need your help. Why should I help you? If you don't help us, then this entire universe could collapse. Fine, but this is only for you. Now that the team was assembled, they decided to head on for the adventure. SMNG and the gang arrived at the Mushroom Kingdom where today, they were going to react to Donkey Kong and Mississippi Madness. Oh my god, they got Donkey Kong? Yes, apparently so. I don't know when this came out, but it counts as a Mario show. Let's take a look at Donkey Kong and Mississippi Madness. So without further ado, let's go. I don't like the look on Donkey Kong's face. He looks like he's about to commit some truly unspeakable crimes. What was the budget for the show? $17 and some peanut shells? That frog is fucking dead. Whoa. Did that guy just do a BOJ? Drop those barrels and come out with your head. Pause up! Did they just record the voice lines in one take? <laughs> going to do in there you know what i don't even want to know and that's basically it so that was donkey kong what's your opinion on it i mean this was historical because this is mario's first animation but it just isn't good i thought it was horrible one of the worst things i've ever seen this one may have been a fluke but they're in for a treat for the next one Today, SMNG and the gang were getting ready to watch the first ever Mario movie to ever be made. The quest to save Princess Peach. It's probably gonna be horrible, so let's just get on with it. So without further ado, let's go. Whether she was a real or not, she sure was a beautiful. This is probably the worst Mario voice ever. So apparently the reasoning for the horrible voice acting and terrible lip syncing is because it's a Japanese movie and it never got an actual English dub. So basically, we're watching a fan dub. So, Bowser, and Peach just come out of the TV. Wait, so if Luigi knows that the Mushroom Kingdom is real, then why didn't he believe Mario the night before? This dog is not a Mario character and has no reason to be in the movie except for leading them to the Mushroom Kingdom. Why doesn't Luigi look like, oh, I don't know, Luigi? God! By the way, there's only like one song in the whole movie, and it replays more times than I can count. This guard is horrible. He is literally watching Luigi dig Mario out of his cell and just walks off. Hey, wait for me! Hey, I can't swim! Then why did you jump in the fucking water? He should not work. Mario has it rough. He literally just kicked Bowser's ass for Peach. Then Peach ends up friendzoning him. Sounds like someone I know. Hey, I'm happy, okay? That about does it for the review. The movie sucked. <laughs> oh my 
guy, Donkey Kong again. Monkey. There's a monkey. I see you have met my friend. Donkey Kong. You won't get away with this, SMNH. I think I can. Your friend seems to be interested in my friend. Well, he's not really my friend, but he just really likes Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Is that so? Well, run away, DK. <laughs> so SMNG and Mario ran right after him. Where did Donkey Kong go? You idiot! Why did you chase after him? I just wanted him to sign my copy of Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. It wasn't the real Donkey Kong, it was a trick. Now look where we are. Yeah, where are we? I don't know, but it looks very familiar. Hey, Whoa. paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Uh-oh. Uncle Mario has a big surprise for you! Well, gee, I wonder what it is. We've already suffered. Might as well suffer more, right? Patty cake, patty cake, pasta, pasta man. man. Give, Give me pasta, pasta power, power as fast, fast as you can. Hey, paisanos! It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! With the Mario this is the best opening to any show of all time. What the what fuck is shit is this? A lot of the characters' voices are good, but not accurate. I see two issues with Birdo. One, Birdos can't fly. And two, they are not girls. Bowser is just a cold, King Koopa. But I want my feet licked, I'll ask for it. I want my feet licked. Whoa, Nintendo, this is a kid show. Calm down. Mario almost gets Luigi killed, and he doesn't care. This is one of the most Italian things I've ever seen. Toad's just wearing a hat? Am I living a lie? Don't forget, Toad's color changed after episode 4, for some reason. And that's the show, what do you think? I mean, yeah, this show is pretty horrible, but I mean, I kind of like it. Even though it gets a lot of stuff about the games wrong. I really like this show, and it'll always be nostalgic to me. Well, guys, I'm gonna go to the other room and look at some things. Time to use what we have against SMMP. Let's do it. I still don't know what to do about you, though. I mean, I still have you. What does all this mean? What does all the rainbow stars mean? Hey SMMP, do you ever wonder how H got his powers? Why does it matter? He could be a god for all we know. I was just wondering because... Do you remember how you got your powers? The rainbow star? Yeah, I remember. I know what kind of power it holds. I still have mine. What about yours? No, you took it away from me after you took me down, idiot. Then who would know, genius? I don't know, maybe Sonic would know. What the f Fuck is a Sonic! That's true, we might have to go pay him a visit. Well, to get there, we'll have to go through yet another version of the Mushroom Kingdom. Yep, Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3, we're in 1990. Let's go. Oh no, this show has the Koopalings now? Whoa! Help! Mario! Let go of my brother, Koopa! The voice actors are new. Well, except for Toad and Koopa. Even better! Those pink-headed plumbers can't get their superpowers in the real world! They never had the hammer suit or the statue! So in most of the episodes, it's just the gang trying to stop Koopa from ruining things in the real world. Because kids love to watch King Koopa commit terrorist attacks. There's only a few episodes that are actually good. This episode is trying to solve racism. Why is the final episode so good? This show kind of proves that the frog suit has a meaning, apparently. Why did they do this in the game? Most of the episodes are like any kid's show, random morals to learn from, which kind of ruins it. And that was the re- Whoa! What the hell? Whoa. Who are you two? Wait, you know him too? It's not us. We're after the same person. He is our evil twin. I'm SMNG, that's SMMP, and everyone knows Mario. Well, 
Well, I guess we're on the same side. You wanna join us? Great. Before we go, I need to see a buddy of mine to help us stop SMMP. I'll explain everything about us on the way there. Hey, uh, P, I think I kinda like Kara. You're seriously in love with an inkling? Maybe. I mean, she's not everyone's first choice, but I just like the way she looks, you know? Yeah, sure. Anyway, let's go find Sonic. The gang had made their way to Yoshi's Island. Ugh. Well, I guess it's time we keep going. We got a long way to go. Wait a minute, where's Mario? Oh no, don't tell me we're missing him. Now he's gonna be impossible to find. Well, we don't have time to look for him right now. Let's go get Sonic and figure it out up after. Sounds good, I guess. We have Super Mario World in 1991. Without further ado, let's go. We banished King Koopa from Princess Toadstool's Mushroom Kingdom, but he- those are some amazing walking animations. Glad they used their budget over whatever they can find between the car seats in this scene. Mario was attacked by a Koopa wizard and a Magnum Bill! That's actually called a Banzai Bill. Maybe if the people in charge of this show actually did any research, they would have got that right. This is almost as bad as making Birdo some old crazy grandma back in the Super Show. Magic Balloon! Yeah! So, I think Luigi hit something in the scene, because in the game, when you're inflated and you hit something, you pop. But as you can see, nothing hit him. I'm pretty sure the animators forgot to add whatever he ran into. Which, knowing these shows, is totally believable. Luigi find Yoshi Egg! How'd you know? Uh, here's another mistake that could have been avoided with two seconds of simple research. Yoshi hatches from a red egg, but he's always hatched from a green egg, unless he's a red Yoshi. As a matter of fact, when you search Yoshi on Google, the first thing that pops up, even before you press search, is a picture of Yoshi's green egg. Oh my god, that is the most annoying sound ever. I hope the voice actor got paid well. Well, I'm a voice actor who doesn't get paid at all, so I can't complain. Get back on track. Oh my god, hey SMNG. What? They got dinosaurs from Jurassic Park and Super Mario World. Can you believe they did out here? Are you the person who keeps calling me at Walgreens? No, that's Neon Jackie, that one YouTuber. I never noticed it, but you two do sound similar. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Babe? Uh, please, uh, please just ignore that. And that's the story of how Luigi became Flat Stanley. Another mistake that could have been prevented if the people behind this show played the game, Yoshi can't eat those guys. You didn't tell me you were bringing a secret weapon, Luigi. That's Mama Luigi to you, Mario! <laughs> and thousands of memes were born. So that was the Super Mario World show. It was fine. It got a lot of things wrong about the games, but that's nothing new with these shows. I watched the show a lot as a kid. I thought it was okay. I still prefer Adventures of Super Mario Bros. 3, but Yoshi's in this one, so uh, B tier. This isn't a tier list, you know. Anyways, what was that thing with you calling Liz, babe? I don't want to talk about it. It was pretty funny. Please, just forget about it. They made their way to Green Hill Zone. <laughs> Finding an old friend. There he is. Hey, Sonic. Hey, long time no see. Is he giving you problems again? Tell him, P. I, I, I'm helping him now. I know what I did was wrong or something like that. I guess I can trust him. Why are you here? We are dealing with a huge source of evil right now. Oh no, and not go down that road again. I don't need to put myself in that kind of danger again. That's why your job is easy. Do you know what happened to P's Rainbow Star? Just happens I have it. Great, we're gonna need it, thanks. Oh, and one more thing. Mario's trapped in time. I know you can do the impossible, so can you help him get out? Of course, good luck. Thanks, good luck to you too. Soon, they were traveling down a dirt road. Uh, 
the series is just never ending. Well, if you could keep a consistent upload schedule. Well, people get busier than they used to be. Well, let's just see what's next for us. Oh no! How would you like to see this happening in front of you? Oh no. Fuck. So this is the Mario movie. Look at how realistic the characters are. They look really good, right? Well, that wasn't the movie. This is the movie. Look at this right here. This is Yoshi. This is Yoshi. Now look at the Koopalings, they're just normal humans. Now this thing is a Goomba. How do you fuck up a Goomba? This movie was made with a 48 million dollar budget. But they spent everything except one singular dollar on drugs. And then they spent one dollar on the actual movie. Dimension. Okay, universe we'll be right there. Luigi, we got a broken dishwasher at the Riverfront Cafe. You know what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Mario Brothers. Mario looks at least 30 years older than Luigi. It's Bob Hoskins. Hey guys, SMNP here. I'm cutting in to let you know that outside of that first clip, I couldn't find much high quality clips of the movie on YouTube. That's how much people care about this movie. The rest of the clips are low quality, but that's out of our control. That's Daisy, and those are the Koopalings? We weren't joking earlier, this movie might have the most inaccurate depictions of the Mario characters. Also, why is Daisy here but not Peach? Was Peach not as popular when this movie came out or what? This movie raises more questions than answers. The movie predicted cat characters in Super Mario 3D World. I'm getting some flashbacks from this one. This clip is in such low quality makes the Goomba look so much more terrifying than it has any right to be. Get it, this boy. I appreciate that this movie is giving Mario fans what they really want. Who needs accurate characters when you have Big Bertha, the most popular Mario character? Evil King Goomba! You know the law, Toad! That... that's Toad? You know it's bad when I prefer the Super Mario Bros. Super Show version of Toad more than the movie one, because that was horrendous. Uh-huh! Plumbers! No, he is! I'm just apprenticing! Get in the car! But I didn't do get nothing! Get in the car! Are you telling us that you can arrest a guy for being a plumber? Get out of here! Get, get in there, plumber! No! Hey, what is this? Okay, okay, what do we, what do we do? I'm getting huh? arrested for being a plumber. Let's analyze this scene real quick. These cops are arresting Mario and Luigi for being plumbers. That makes no sense. Then they arrest Luigi first, even though he isn't a plumber like Mario. Then they proceed to shove him Mario around before putting them in their police car. They never even read them their rights or officially place them under arrest. They didn't even put them in handcuffs. Even in Dino Hatton, the police force is corrupt. Whoa, 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 no politics on my channel. Name, Mario. Last name. Mario. Okay, what's your name? Luigi. Luigi, Luigi? No, Luigi Mario. Okay, look, how many Marios are there between the two of you? So this movie is responsible for making the brothers' last names Mario. Makes a lot of sense as to why King Koopa just calls them the Marios in the Super Show. That Marios and that M We're over an hour into the movie, and only just now, Mario and Luigi got their iconic costumes. I know that the scene gets joked about a lot, but I actually like the designs of the Koopa Troopas. I also find the scene of them dancing to be kinda cute. So that was the Super Mario Bros. movie. I can say it was definitely made. I can agree with that. The actors were acting, that's for sure. I never want to speak of this movie ever again. Yeah, neither do I. Well, I did like it a bit. I can't believe it. Is this real? Estimate Nature has been found dead at his palace. So watching the movie was completely pointless? He died without us having to do anything? 
kind of weird, don't you think? It's a bit weird, I'll admit it, but it's not like you could just fake your own death. I guess, but this whole thing seems a bit weird. How does someone like him even die? I thought the only way to take him out was the Rainbow Star, but I think we're just looking into this too much. Yeah, well, I guess we just continue on with our lives now. Easy for you to say. I never had a life outside of that monster's palace. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. It's fine, I'll go live on the streets, I guess. Maybe I can find an empty piranha plant pipe or something. Actually, you should go to this place called the Hard Brick Hotel. Really? I guess I'll head there. So, I guess this is where we say goodbye? Yeah, I guess it really is. I never thought I'd be saying this, but I'll miss you. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. This was fun. Are you going back home? Well, since everything that's been going on, I don't really have a plan, but I'll figure it out. Hi, I'm gonna head out. P? Yeah? Be careful. SMNG went over to Kara to see what their plan was. Hey, Kara. What's your guys' plan now? <laughs> SMNG knew what he wanted to tell Kara, but he was too nervous to. Well... You be careful, and I hope we see each other again. A few hours later, SMMP was settled into his hotel. This place really sucks. No internet, no shower. What kind of place even is this? I guess I'll just watch some TV. They got Yoshi from Super Mario World and Star Wars. Can we read it on here? Watch <laughs> <laughs> Jingle Fett get absolutely fucking wrecked for 40 <laughs> SM H? I thought you were dead. Did you seriously think that I could really die that easily? Well, they never said how you died. Exactly my point. Me faking my death was all a part of my huge I won't let you get away with it. You already have. What do you mean? My plan involved breaking you and your little teammates apart. Looks like it worked. I faked my death and you let your guard down. I can't believe it. We actually let you win. Not necessarily. Let's put it this way. I know you're too scared to fight me alone. I can feel it. If you give me what I want, then I will drop this whole thing. The whole plan will be over and my terror will be over. What do you want? Get him for me. Who? SMG, give him to me. This whole thing will be over if you just give him to me. Well, he's not here. Then tell me where he is. I can't. I, I can't just betray my friend like that. Fine. If that's how you want to play, then we can just play like that. I'll just kill the Inklings. Stop! Then give me what I want. You know what? I'll make a deal with you. Go on. If you leave SMG and the girls alone, I'll let you take me instead. Seems pretty reasonable. Just don't mess it up this time. Weeks went by, SMG got worried, and he had to end up breaking into SMMP's apartment. P, where are you at? He found a note on the floor. You thought you could beat me, Neo Bowser City. So then he raced away. Not a chance. And now he has SMMP. We save SMMP and we defeat SMNH. We're not out of options yet. Let's go find Luigi. To see the rest of the adventure, please watch the SMNG movie Breaking Point. Available in HD or in VHS quality. Links to those will be in the description, the pinned comment, and the end cards after the credits. Thank you for watching.